hello guys welcome to another video it's been a while since i've done this sit down but today i just want to tackle a simple topic well it, it's simple in terms of the rules you need to follow but it's not easy to implement and the topic i want to talk about is how to master discipline so that you can achieve your goals so i have about 10 pointers if i'm not mistaken 10 or 11 pointers which you you need to do or which you need to implement for you to be able to master discipline so let's just get into them point number one if you want to master discipline you need to set clear goals so if you set clear goals you know you if you have clear defined goals and you know what is your target it's very easy to 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 get disciplined because you know what you need to do to hit those goals that's another way of trying to achieve discipline so that you can achieve your goals that's point number one uh, point number two you need to create a plan once you have goals you need to create a plan on how you're going to go about to achieve those goals and a plan keeps you grounded a plan uh, saves you from distractions basically you you are able to 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 stick to the plan and and cancel distractions uh, and point number three you need to learn to prioritize to prioritize yeah it's called prioritize you need to you need to be able to prioritize in your plan what is important cut out all the fluff and the distraction and everything and just focus and prioritize on the tasks that matters the most that will move the goalpost uh, closer or to, is that what they say move the goalpost closer or yeah yeah focus prioritize on those things it, it might be small tasks but you need to get them done you know uh, point number four you need to develop uh, consistent habits I don't know whether that's the correct term consistent habits because habits are consistent in their own way but I get you guess I guess you get my point you need to create habits around your goal habits that will assist you in in achieving those goals because habits if you develop habits habits are good in this that in that even when you don't feel like doing something but because it is a habit you'll automatically do it it a habit is like even let's look at smoking for instance let's say you don't wanna you don't wanna smoke anymore but because it's a habit, you, you keep on doing it, even if you don't want to. So it, 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 there are good habits and there are bad habits. So it's very important to establish, try instill in yourself good habits that will enable you to master discipline and also achieve your goals. Okay, and we on point number five, Point number five, you need to set clear boundaries, right? Establish boundaries to protect your time and energy. If, if, if you set clear boundaries, you know what you want to do and most people, they know what you are all about. So they will never impose themselves or ask you to do things that are out of your boundary. You know, they will respect your time. They will respect uh, the energy you put in into doing things. So it's very 
important to set clear boundaries. Let's go to point number six, which is stay organized. Keep track of your tasks, deadlines, and, pro and progress. You know, you should have a schedule. Know that at a certain time, you, are, you should be doing this. At a certain time, you should be doing this. For instance, if you, have, if you stay organized, it becomes easy to, to, to be disciplined and it becomes easy to achieve your goals. For instance, I have a schedule like every day, literally every day, there's a schedule on my phone that pops up in the morning, right? When I start my day, I start my day in the morning at about latest six o'clock, I do gym or maybe I read, I read a book for like 30 minutes or an hour, it depends. And then I, I do gym and then uh, I do social media and then I do blogging and then I do YouTube and then I do gaming because I like playing game games and then maybe I jog in the afternoon and now I've taken on another sport which is indoor soccer since I've moved in to a different location. I've moved in with a friend of mine who plays indoor soccer as you see the background because the, we are renovating back at home so everyone had to, to move out but if you follow my journey and if you watch some of my videos you already know <laughs> that we are renovating so yeah stay organized I, I, I sometimes go on a tangent so excuse me uh, we are on point number six we are moving on to point number seven practice self-control learn to manage impulses and temptations that may derail you from your progress it's this is very critical because impulses as it says it's an impulse it's something that they are out of your control you know and impulses are bad because they can ruin uh, your plan they they can ruin your schedule you end up not finishing what you've scheduled to do for that day so it's very very important that you practice self-control so that you you can fight off these impulses and point number eight you need to stay motivated that that's another important part you need to stay motivated how can you stay motivated whether it's visualizing your success or seeking support from others watching you youtube videos of people who are trying to achieve what you've also uh, or people who have achieved what you're also trying to achieve you know watch some les brown jim ron you know all those uh, tony robertson you know watch watch some motivational speakers but do something read some books some motivational books read some biographies of people you know just try to self-motivate yourself you know that's that's also in important point number nine embrace failure just know in everything you're going to fail it, it, there's hardly anyone who tries something for the first time and they are just they just succeed and they just good at it you are going to experience failure and you just need to embrace it and just know that failure is the is it's the it's part of the process you know it's part of success in order to succeed you need to fail because you can't just Success. success there's always good and bad the opposite of everything so without success they without failure they cannot be success you know you get my point so just embrace failure pick yourself up and try again 
and try again and you fail and try again until you succeed okay after that uh, review and adjust uh, regularly review your progress towards your goals and adjust your plans if necessary see what's working see what's not working remove what's not working and just do of more of what is working that's that's how you you learn to to discipline and just cultivate yourself and focus you know just yeah review review everything after you've done something check if there's any way you can better do the thing if there's not then kudos to you 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 you've mastered it but if there is a way that you can do it better then try to do it better always review and adjust and also point number we're going to point number 11 now practice self-compassion that's very important that's that keeps you motivated self-compassion means that not being hard on yourself when things don't work out being kind to yourself during challenging moments you know just know that you're going to you're going to go through you're going to survive those challenges those challenges that you are facing so yeah just be compassion up to yourself just understand you are only human like everyone else you will make mistakes you will go off track you know don't feel bad and say i'm just a failure this nothing is working out i can't master simple stuff no just be compassionate towards yourself you deserve it after all you're trying to achieve what most people dream of you know and then last point this is a uh, very crucial i think it's point number 12 i know i said 10 but i guess these are the two bonuses 12 just six support it's very important to get support surround yourself with like-minded people you know gets it's it's it, it's much easier the journey becomes much easier when you have people who have who think more or less the way you do who can advise you know you can do this thing uh, you can try it this way if it fails if it if it succeeds you know they they congratulate you they motivate you they advise you it's very very important that you surround yourself with a mastermind we usually call a mastermind group so yeah try to get support from from people friends family and yeah so those are the 12 points that can help you achieve or master discipline in in into achieving your goals if this video or these videos help you in any way and if you do enjoy them just hit that like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that and turn on the notifications so that every time I post videos like this or I post new videos on my YouTube channel which is currently I'm currently on a journey to rebuild myself and just try to achieve financial freedom beyond my wildest dreams <laughs> yeah just just do those youtube things subscribe hit like and yeah turn on the notification until the next video peace i'm out